sneakers, and coffee. Perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to Honeycomb Manila. My name is Keo Kosha. If you are enjoying our content about sneakers, about coffee, about drinks and cocktails, and all of that, please do click the subscribe button because we work very hard to get you guys uh, this content. And if you're enjoying it, you might as well get it every time we publish it. Click the notification bell as well so that you get notified in your iOS or Android notifications whenever we post a new video. And we try to get you something, you know, at least every week, whether that be about sneakers or about beverages and drinks. Follow along on Instagram as well. I'm at Keo Kosha on Instagram. Follow at Daily Drink Mag on Instagram for the coffee. Follow at Hegema Mag for the sneakers and streetwear, street culture content and follow along Honeycomb Manila, which is our studio here where we record these YouTube shows. We are co-working and there are all sorts of interesting things going on here. So follow along on Instagram if you wanna know more about that. Now this package came in over the weekend uh, and it was delivered to my house and the, the box is actually already open because there was some other stuff in here that was not this pair of sneakers, but I wanted to not look at the sneakers yet until I was on camera. So this is the first time I'm seeing these sneakers. So let's dive in and take a look. We open up the box. It's a little bit of a bigger box because there was something else inside. And inside you have a Air Force One box. All right, so this is the Nike Air Force One box. This is kind of the special box. The triple white and I think the triple black come in this gray box, which is like the Nike Air Force One box. And so this is the one that they usually put like the SE special edition, more premium editions of the Air Force One in. And here on the label, it says Air Force One uh, 07 LV8, which is kind of the standard Air Force One silhouette for, you know, for nowadays since 2007. It says in the beach slash mahogany grain colorway size 9.5 which is my size 11 for women and then there's like this established 1982 embossing on the box so this is a nice special edition box for a special edition sneaker now before i open up this box i just want to explain what's going on here uh we had we're actually set up for our espresso training videos i'm working on a basic espresso calibration and latte art milk steaming video together with our trainer barista friend over here dave dorset so that's coming up really soon you know usually we would reset the set for sneaker content for opening act but i thought you know what this kind of works that it's all together and so these sneakers should be right at home that gives you a clue what they are let's open it up inside you have paper it's a bit different from your usual paper this one has stars on uh, kind of embossed into the paper and then printed on this little section here in just like the lightest gray it says established 1982 and it has a bunch of stars and let's open that up and this is the cafe culture nike air force one isn't that something all right so this is the cafe culture air force one and it's part of the pack you know, when this first uh, leaked online and we started to see pictures of this come out online, we didn't realize that it was part of a pack. We thought that it was just the one pair. Actually, I saw this on the Nike website before I even saw it in the news. Like there were no leaks about it. And I was super surprised to see that Nike was making a cafe culture inspired Air Force One. In the pictures, they look like they were kind of a lighter tan, but now I'm seeing that this beach suede color is a bit deeper in person than it really comes across on camera. The materials are nice and premium. This seems to be some really nice leather. And then the canvas is a nice thoughtful touch, you know, textures that very much remind you of cafes. The swoosh is in a brown and the back tab is in a brown leather with a Nike written there. But also written here on the heel section, it says roasted by Nike Incorporated, lot 97005 SP21. So I don't know what lot 97005 means, but SP21 would be spring 2021, uh, kind of serving as like the roast date and then the lot number 
I guess we gotta do some digging to find out what that is. And then on the back of the tongue, it also has that same marking. We'll look it up, we'll see what we can find out. And if we find that, we'll put it in the comments and we'll pin a comment down below. The main, you know, the foxing and the toe of this sneaker are done in a very nice premium, premium, premium suede. And then on the lace section, you have a dubre that looks like kind of coffee grounds you know, made into this rubber piece. It's made of rubber. A lot of dubrays are made of metal or hard plastic, and this one is made out of rubber. Inside, it has that coloring. And then the midsole is a dark gum midsole with some splatter on it. You know, on the Nike website, it was saying that, that this was supposed to be reminiscent of, of coffee grounds, um, kind of splattered, but you know, now that I see it, they're not really inside of the rubber of the midsole. It's actually a splatter paint on the outside. But when you're wearing them, it's gonna be hard to tell. Of course, I am a big fan of gum outsoles. You can really see on this one how much texture and life it brings to the sneaker. If I was gonna do like a Nike Bayou, or when I play around in the Nike Bayou custom, customize your sneakers section of the Nike website, I always look at the gum outsoles because you know it's something that I find really cool and something very reminiscent for me of skate culture as well which kind of one of those things that runs nowadays in parallel with cafe culture. The upper is primarily made out of three materials. It's made out of leather which you can see here on the swoosh and the back tab. It's a premium leather and you can see if you look in the edging that it is it is proper leather, it is genuine leather, at least it looks very much like it's genuine leather. Um, and then you have suede that runs around the eye stay and that's in this, I'm guessing that this is what they're referring to as beach in the color because it does have the kind of the feel of sand and it has that nice suede where you push it in different directions and it changes color a little bit. Uh, so that's cool and that, of course that's where you have the, the printed uh, section that says, it's kind of debossed. It's, it's kind of pressed in like a brand and then there's color. Uh, there's brown that says Roasted by Nike Incorporated. And then this midsection in the midfoot on both the lateral and the medial side and the toe, the toe box section is done in kind of this canvas material. And I'm guessing that that's supposed to be reminiscent of like seating maybe, or maybe the, the sacks that coffee come in. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, and then the tongue is also made out of that same kind of canvas style material, but it looks like it, it's synthetic. Um, and you want that. You want these synthetic soft tongues because it adds to the comfort of the sneakers, which is of course Air Force One. Legendary in terms of comfort. That encapsulated air sole, you know, that goes from the heel to, a, to around here on the sneaker. I've cut open a few of these so I know <laughs> what they look like on the inside. But basically there's an air sole that goes right in there. And that technology has held up really well. On the insole, you have this coffee cap print on the insole where it's got this mug with a swoosh on it and a little coffee cap in sitting inside of the mug. And then this nice little you know pinstripe pattern. I like that. That would make a really nice shirt. If, if I was going to go back to 1997 and look what young Kayo was wearing. I think a, a shirt with a pattern like this would have been expected inside of the wardrobe. Nice laces. These brown laces have no like weaving to it. They, they, they seem like they're made of some sort of weird like thin felt kind of thing. It's unusual. I, I don't think I own any laces that are like this. They don't seem to be woven. They seem to be <laughs> made out of some like non-woven material. I'm very curious to see how this will hold up, but it does make for a nice uh, aesthetic. It, it's very clean. This is a nice clean pair of sneakers. And then on the lace tips, there is a red, like an orange aglet, I guess, or lace tip. Uh, very hard, very stiff plastic for that bit. No extra laces with the sneakers, so this is it. This is what you get in the box. Uh, the price was, 5,000 something pesos, so that's I think 110 US dollars, which is a great price for a premium pair of sneakers like this one. Honestly, it took me a day to check out these sneakers, to click the checkout button because I was, I was waiting, you know, I was waiting to see what 
other sneakers were coming out that week or if this was maybe part of a bigger pack. Uh, but I started to see the sizes selling out and you know, a day later, I just clicked that checkout button because I knew they would sell out and now they are pretty much sold out. You can't get these sneakers anymore. But the good news is, the thing that we were waiting for was that, you know, maybe it would be part of a pack and it is indeed part of a coffee or cafe culture pack that Nike is coming out with. It looks like there are three silhouettes. This one, a Daybreak and an Air Max 97. And the Daybreak at least has two colors. There's like a light roast and a dark roast. This is like a latte or a, a cafe mocha color. Now, I, I literally just opened these up and it's my first time seeing them. If this is anything like other Air Force Ones, then they do not fit true to size. They fit about a half size down for most people. That said, I personally go true to size in Air Force Ones because I like to wear them a little bit loose. And I find that that looks a little bit better for me. So it's different for, for everyone. If you're going for the look, go true to size. If you like, that one is to one, perfect fit, go down half a size or consider going down half a size um, with these. One of the debates with these sneakers was, is this a good color to have in the cafe? Like, it, won't they get stained? Won't you drop espresso on them? Won't you drop coffee on them? I mean, there's coffee grounds everywhere here. I probably shouldn't do that while I'm handling the nice pristine shoes that I haven't worn yet. We were talking about it on, on the Facebook group. I Love Coffee is the name of the Facebook group and you can find it on facebook.com slash group slash yes, I love coffee. Is this not compatible with cafe life, with barista life? Because you are gonna get coffee stains and coffee marks on these sneakers. Uh, and my brother Kiddo, shout out to Kiddo who owns and runs El Union Coffee said, no, you gotta wear the stains with pride, right? So yeah, I'm gonna see if Maybe I'll wear these in the cafe. I have sneakers that I like to wear for doing barista work. Um, usually the, I check certain boxes, like they should be made of leather or they should be made of a relatively easy to clean material. And I don't think these, these fit into those, into those classifications. But, you know, I feel like just to stay in theme, I need to wear them just a few times while doing barista work. All right, so that's been a first look and review of the Cafe Culture Nike Air Force One from the Cafe Culture Pack, a sneaker about coffee. If there was one sneaker that was made for me, it would be Chicago Jordan Ones from 1985. But if there was one that someone who looked at my life and designed a sneaker would make or would think is perfectly made for me, this has got to be one of those pairs. I really dig them. What do you guys think? Which one? would you get which one are you most excited for and were you lucky enough to pick up this pair of cafe culture nike air force ones if you did enjoy that content follow along on instagram subscribe to this page and we are coming out with a espresso calibration video a grinder calibration video which not a lot of people really dive into and that's going to be something special um, for you guys to enjoy if you are loving specialty coffee if you are loving sneakers and streetwear and culture, street culture. Make sure you follow along, subscribe. I wish you guys good luck. I wish you guys good health. I wish you guys fantastic coffee. Peace.